Hey there folks, Comics Gatekeeper here, and uh, I was going to review another Doom Patrol, but um, my Peter J. Tomasi Batman trade paperback arrived. The first few issues, uh, Batman Detective Comics, the first one is called Mythology. Um, so, I love Peter J. Tomasi, I loved his Superman, I loved his Super Sons. I wasn't a huge fan of his Batman and Robin run. It was, seemed like it was a little too frequent with the I have to tie into the other book with like death of the family and things like that. And I fucking hate it. Scott Snyder's run. So yeah, it was okay. It just wasn't great. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was okay. It just wasn't great. Um... I did end up giving those books away because they were just a bit meh. So I thought I'd give him another chance. I'd order the Detective Comics thing that he's done. And, um, spoiler alert, it's fucking shite. Ah, it's sad really. I actually like him. But yeah, it starts off quite compellingly. There's a, a monster trying to kill people. His stage is a perfect recreation of the Wayne's murders. He puts the bullet holes to within a centimetre of where they were on the real Wayne's, dresses them up, finds people with the exact same bone structure and height and ethnicity. Um, yeah, even down to the pearl necklace and all the rest of it. He uses the same calibre weapon. And yeah, and then it goes after Leslie Tompkins and Batman realises that whatever this thing is, is trying to kill everyone that's ever made Batman. People that trained him, the people that were good to him, all the rest of it. He knows everything and he knows who he really is. So there's a monster appears and he's just gunge pretty much. And then um, it goes on for a while and I was kind of intrigued. Because the next time the monster shows up, he's got, got a dozen heads of all these different... Um, Rogue's Gallery, he's got like Catwoman head, Clayface head and Bane head. And they're all saying weird shit at the same time. Like he's saying, I love you, I will break you, and stuff like that. And jokes on you, Batman, and stuff like that. So it's it's really strange. And then there's this like um, out of character Batman. He goes to Arkham uh, and he says, I'm going to ask you all questions and you're going to answer and that's the end of it. And the next thing you see is them all having the shit kicked out of them. So he's pretty much tortured a bunch of people into giving them answers and they don't have any for him. I mean, that's really freaking out of character. Uh, yeah, he does it to a few other people. I think he, he breaks into Hugo Strange's place because he makes monsters as well. And yeah, he, he just sort of goes around like a bully and a madman. And then he never finds <laughs> he never really finds the culprit so lots of metaphysical weird shit happens at the end and fast forward the next little bit if you're sick of spoilers or you don't want spoilers it's all a fucking dream yeah, you know when you were seven and you were doing creative writing class and your teacher said do not make it all a dream at the end because that's the most hackneyed unoriginal piece of shit thing ever even when you were seven, she'd tell you off, don't even think about making it a dream, bitch. Yeah, that's what they did. It was all a dream. Yeah, that one's sinking. So yeah, he wakes up in an AI uh, simulation world, and everyone's saying, why did you do this to yourself? A few pages of explanation, and it's kind of like that Family Guy episode where Stewie kills Lois, but it's not real because it's all virtual at the end. And Brian spends the last few minutes of the episode talking about how the viewers will be really, really pissed off with that resolution. And he was not wrong. So yeah, they literally do that, and I'm still trying to come to terms with it. Oh, this is another one going to the charity shop in Mosley, I think. Yes, uh, I have another one on the way, and I'd have, well... Morbid curiosity, I'm going to read and review that one as well, since I've already paid for it and I can't send it back now. Since it's already in the post. Um, yeah. 
Like I said, next time it's going to be uh, Doom Patrol and some, hopefully some teasers for my art, for my comic. Quicker on Chris must be destroyed. Yes, okay. Uh, wow, that was a bit of a negative one. Okay, take care folks. Later.